Do you spend a lot of time in your boring and slow command prompt typing commands all day and ever feel like your terminal is kinda holding you back? Well, in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you can up your terminal game by setting up ZSH with some crucial configurations which would transform your shell from something like this to something like this. So watch till the very end. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Shivalik and in this channel, my work is to teach you tech concepts which would make you a better developer. In this video, we are going to learn exactly how ZSH can be configured to make it even more faster and more pleasant for the eyes. So without further ado, let's jump right back into it. Well, before we get started, if you're someone who is on a macOS computer, I would suggest you to get your hands on this terminal replacement called item 2, which is way more customizable than the default terminal and also gives you a lot of new features like growl notifications right at your terminal. So once you install item 2 and open it, it's going to look something like this. If you are on a Mac computer, you already have ZSH pre-installed. If you are not on a Mac computer, you can go ahead and install ZSH and come back to your terminal. So once you have your terminal up and running with ZSH shell, you can quickly double check if your shell is running by typing chsh which is a short form for change shell and here you can see it says the shell is bin slash zsh so the first thing we are going to set up is a package manager called oh my zsh let's quickly go and install this so after we installed our package manager in the last step next what we are going to do is go and install a theme so when it comes to theme, the first thing which comes to a lot of people's mind, including mine, is okay, it's gonna make my terminal slow. But this particular theme actually provides a lot of enhancements along with performance benefits and it is called Power Level 10K. So once we scroll down to the installation section, we can see oh my ZSH here. You have to go ahead and clone this repository. I have already done this step. So let's move to the next one. After you have done this step, you have to go to your ZSHRC. So once we open our ZSHRC, you see we have already added this line. Let's save, go back to our editor and restart it. So now you can see we already have a nice looking editor experience. Next, enter P10K configure in your terminal and it's going to take you through a series of questionnaires which would end up customizing your terminal experience exactly how you want to see it. Once you're done configuring, your shell would look something like this. Now this P10K theme is really nice if you use a lot of git commands in your repositories. So let's quickly go to a git repository. And right from the terminal, we can see the path we are in. We can see we are in master and also there are two commits which are staged but yet to be pushed. So right off the bat, we can see like a lot of really interesting information from the terminal with this p10k theme so now let's move on and talk about plugins if you have never used a plugin in your terminal before they are exactly like browser extensions but for your terminal so just like browser extensions if you end up adding a lot of plugins you might end up slowing your terminal experience because every time you open a new shell it has to run a lot of scripts so my suggestion would be to keep it simple and only install the most crucial ones that you absolutely cannot live without. So when it comes to my plugin recommendations, I have top three suggestions for you, which you absolutely cannot miss. The first one being ZSH auto suggest. This plugin gives you a Google like auto completion whenever you start typing your command from your own history. So imagine that really big curl command you typed once or that repository you cloned but don't exactly remember the name. You can just start typing git clone and it starts suggesting something similar from your history. The next plugin I absolutely love is ZSI syntax highlighting. So if you go to your terminal and probably try to echo something like this, it looks like this right now. And after you have installed this plugin, you can see that there's some really nice syntax highlighting going on right in your terminal. So if you're one of those developers who use commands like touch, cat or vim, you would really appreciate this syntax highlighting capability. So the next plugin, which is very crucial for my daily workflow is called ZSH history substring search. What this plugin lets you do is type a little portion of any command you might have typed earlier 
and then you can use your keyboard up and down keys to go through all the new commands or command from your history which matches that pattern so for example if i go here and type let's say gi and if i press the button down it would show me all the commands which matches that pattern okay i said top three but if it had to be top four the fourth one would absolutely be this plugin which is fzf which is a command line fuzzy finder so if your regular workflow includes a lot of path traversal in your terminal definitely check this plugin out down in the description so we are done with ZSH package manager, we are done with themes and we are also done with the top plugins. Now coming to the most interesting part I have been really waiting for. Let's debunk the most commonly asked questions or misconceptions about ZSH from Reddit. ZSH is just a fancy version of Bash. Well, while ZSH and Bash both are Unix terminals, ZSH has a lot of add-ons which are not present in Bash. For example, powerful tab completion, advanced prompt customizations and better globbing are differentiators which set ZSH apart. ZSH is hard to learn. Well, while ZSH has a lot of advanced configuration options, it's definitely not harder to learn compared to Bash or other terminals. ZSH is not compatible with Bash scripts. While ZSH does have some syntactic differences with Bash, Pretty much all bash commands run with ZSH and whatever does not run out of the box, they almost always have a drop in replacement in the ZSH terminal. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching till the very end. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And if you're setting your terminal for the first time, you might also be interested in this other video of mine, which shows you how to configure your VS code editor for the first time. And there's another announcement. I recently opened a Discord server for you guys. So if you want to chat or ask any questions or clarify anything or want to request a video, go to my Discord. The link is down below.